Hello, this is、uh, Dr. Shaming Gong. Today, I'm going to introduce you a new technique called microwave ablation. This technique is usually done by percutaneous ultrasound. This patient is a 46 years old adenomyosis patient. From the MI scan, we can see her anterior wall was normal. The posterior、uh, uterus wall was thickened, so it's、uh, about six centimeter in size. She had a dysmenorrhea and heavy bleeding, and she don't want to do a hysterectomy, so we decided to do、uh, an ablation therapy for her. We can see there's some、uh, bleeding spot. In her uterine posterior wall, from the right image, we can see from the enhanced MI, the posterior wall was、uh, filled with blood. We can compa compare to it, the image after the ablation. So the therapy is、uh, usually done with、uh, ultrasound surveillance. Patient was、uh, put in the general anesthesia or the regional anesthesia. With the ultrasound probe, we can guide our、uh, microwave needle, and the, we can insert this needle directly into the. Uterus wall. Patient was put in an、uh, lastotomy position. Our assistant's hand was、uh, put into the vagina, and we push the uterus upside. And、uh, we can make the、uh, uterus、uh, closer to the abdominal wall, so make it easier to do the ablation. So when we started the ablation, we can see this、uh, a high echo air spot inside the uterine wall. With、uh, the movement of the needle, we can gradually ablate the posterior wall little by little. To avoid the complication, we have to avoid the needle getting in touch with the bowel and the bladder around the uterus wall. So with the、uh, manipulator or with our assistant's hand, we can adjust the uterus position. This is the ultrasound image. So when we adjust the the probe, we can see the needle. To make sure that、uh, you are right in the safe position, usually we will ablate the posterior、uh, point first, and then gradually we move the needle upward to the superficial position. So after 25 minutes, when we finish the ablation, we do an、uh, enhanced、uh, ultrasound. In this image, we can see this dark area. This area means that this、uh, adenomyosis was、uh, destroyed by the energy. In order to 
protect the surrounding organs, we have to leave some space. So this dark area was ablated at the surrounding uterus. In this uh, ultrasound image, we can see this dark area. We call it a non-perfusion area or non-perfusion volume. This dark area means no blood supplied after treatment. We kept some distance between the serosa and the ablated area. We want to keep it safe for the you bladder and the bowel. After treatment, we can only see a very tiny wound on her abdominal wall. With this uh, MI image, this is an enhanced MI image, we can see this dark area, this non-perfusion volume. The majority of the posterior lesion was destroyed. There was still left uh, some uh, white area which is not damaged on her uterus. In our experience, half of the patient will get no pain after treatment and the heavy bleeding was relieved after treatment. So this is a new technique for the adenomyosis treatment. This is uh, Dr. Xiaomingong. Thank you for watching.